So in today's video, we're going to be finally taking out this piece of track. If you watch my live streams, you'll know why this piece of track is a problem. Trains always derail here. Um, this was built in 2016, and uh, I can't say I did a very good job. The main culprit is that there is, in fact, some plaster under there. So what we have to do is pull up the whole piece of track here, uh, unsolder all the joiners, even it out, and then relay it better than it was before, and hopefully we won't get so many derailments. Okay, the trees are coming down. Um, I'm really hoping this is the problem because so many trains, especially steam locomotives, tend to derail. The other problem is that the tilts this creates causes the switch to uh, go that way and cause trains to go the other. It's, it's, it's not good. Disconnect that one. Can't disconnect that one because it's soldered. So I need to get my soldering iron and solder all the pieces of track. I don't remember soldering them all at the same time. I think I kind of soldered them over time, and that was probably because what was happening is the uneven track was causing the rail joiners to get out of shape and causing bad electrical connections. So this was really just a short time solution. There we go. Okay, that's starting to come undone. Um, I think I have to uproot this piece first, though. Yeah, there we go. There goes one. There we go. One more join to go. The rail's hot. Um, okay, well, we've got that switch out. Now, uh, unfortunately, the main area is under, uh, the area of problem is under there, so I guess I'm going to have to pull up this piece of track. It was just hot glued down. Yeah, we'll see a bit of my ingenuity when I was 15. Look at this, see? Put a little shaving of wood there to compensate for the uneven part of the track. I definitely did try to cut this down a little bit because you can see it's white here and it's painted there. And I painted that back in 2012, so I did try. I just didn't try hard enough, evidently. But this time... I'm not going to mess around with it. Okay, I'm going to pull up that tree. Cause... See, I'm going to go right down to the wood and make sure that this thing is completely even. Pull it back a little further in case the track has to come up here. There's uh, some wire mesh that's kind of like the foundation of what we built this whole ravine type thing on. It's the first time this wood has seen uh, light in five years. Um, this obviously the section of track didn't exist when the ravine was built that's why we didn't build the plaster around it properly because the other bridge was built at the same time the ravine was built, so the track there doesn't have any issues. Whittle it away a bit. It'll be a big job for the vacuum later. Obviously this is taking up a little bit of the hummus out. However, I don't think that's gonna be an issue. See, 
See, I didn't even realize just how bad this was. No wonder so much stuff's been derailing. Nope, we got a staple here. Maybe it'd be off for the pliers. Oh, we got the staple. That's just a piece of wire. Okay. Well, it may not look too good, but that I think is going to make a pretty massive improvement for trains running along the bit. So, got all that done, now I need to go get a vacuum, and I need to clean all this up and then put it back together, hopefully better than it was before. Okay, I'm now going to start cleaning all this up. So you have the vacuum on the lowest possible suction, that way we don't suck up too many bushes. I'm just going to take a little bit of grass with it. Most of my grass is glued down though, so I can see, as you can see, it can withstand having a vacuum run over it. And clean up that bit. Oh, there's a spike in the ground here. That must have been from a while ago. I could be adding this to the problem. I'm gonna vacuum up this whole section here. There's no way we can sort the ballast from the current stuff. Obviously, I want to have the track in this particular section be as even as possible. And there we go. Pretty good. Okay, so I've just run into a minor setback. Uh, here I have a piece of wood, and if I put it on that, it's kind of hard to see, but if I zoom in a little here, you'll see. You see how there's a bit of a gap right there? That's because I built this beam, uh, I built this beam right here to be roughly the same height as this, but I made that the same height as this when it had the plaster. So now that's uneven, unfortunately. So I'm not really sure what to do at this point. The only thing I can think of without causing too much mayhem with all the plaster work down there is to take a sanding sponge and just try to edge off a little bit of the plastic until it's roughly the same height. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just the more level we can get this thing, the uh, better the results should be. So I believe that should be good enough, some 80 grit. This one might take a while. So I've determined the gap really isn't that bad now. Um, the edge piece, edge pieces, sorry, would have probably like uh, been the worst bit. And I just took my uh, whittling knife there and cut those down, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, we will see. Remember, I think it was went this way. How this new, how the old piece of track lies on the redone ground. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look too bad, but you can definitely see just, well, I think it's okay now. Remember the piece of track down, and... Uh, bad example. Well, there's a bit of a gradient, but it can't be too bad because it wasn't able to allow these wheels to move. I know they're plastic, but if there was a steep enough gradient, these would definitely roll a little bit when you moved them. So, it looks like that's going to be okay. So, optimally, I'd like to turn this just so that this piece of track is straight as possible.
that doesn't say perfection. I don't know what does. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. Um, I did say that at some point this summer I was going to fix this piece of track, and I did, so I guess I did live up to my word on that. Um, I think next in the queue is probably the restoration of uh, this one, the Tycho Golden Eagle, or maybe the Speeder video. I'm not really sure, to be honest, because who knows.